Hello everyone, welcome to Fixtronics. So today we have this uh, Lenovo desktop computer. Let's try it and see what's wrong with it together. Okay. So the power is connected. Let's try and turn it on. It's actually turned on. Let's connect. Let's connect the Wi-Fi, I mean uh, HDMI, it doesn't have HDMI, let me connect the other cable, this one, the DVI cable. Do we have a display? We don't have a display. Okay. So we don't we don't have a display. We don't have beeps, we don't have nothing. Okay. So if we take this tube up out. Okay. Now I can open this and check the motherboard together. So let's try and take the RAM memory out and just switch off the power supply for a while. Okay. Let's try it without the RAM memory. Let's see if it will beep. Let's turn it on. It's still turn on, but it doesn't beep. So it might be a BIOS issue. Let's try and clear the BIOS. It might be a BIOS issue, but when I connect the clear CMOS, it should not turn on. Okay, and here is a clear CMOS one, and this is clear CMOS another, clear CMOS jumper. Let's uh, try and remove this uh, battery. Let's wait for it. Let me disconnect the power. Okay, let's put it back. Let's put the jumpers back. And let's try it now without the RAM models.
Okay, so let's inspect the CPU socket together. It might be a CPU issue, it might be a RAM, I mean uh, BIOS issue, and it might be a PCH issue. So the, the bar is disconnected. Let's see the CPU socket. socket seems to be okay everything is good let's try another CPU another processor let's see if I need to bring one okay so here is another CPU let me put back my microphone so this is another CPU. Let's try it now. Okay. Let's put the wrong modules. Let's turn on and turn on the CPU is cold so I think this fan should go for to a low speed let me turn it off When the computer is okay, this fan should start at high speed, then it should go to lower speeds. And when the computer is getting hot, it ramp up. So I think the problem is a BIOS issue. Let me try and uh, reprogram these two BIOS. There is two BIOS uh, modules or ICs. This one and this one. So I will try and reprogram both of them and see if that will help. Okay, so I have uh, I have uh, reprogrammed the BIOS, and when I tried it, it still didn't work. I didn't record that part, so I decided to measure some voltages, and uh, I forget actually to to press that uh, record button so what I did is I checked the voltages across the motherboard and everything seems to be good everything seems to be okay so I decided to check the CPU V core voltages and the V core was missing so I checked the VCC A voltage and the VCC was missing so let me go to microscope so you can see what I am talking about okay so the VCC A is a voltage that the power uh, I mean the CPU requires before the V core uh, voltage can be supplied to the CPU so the v the CPU will first get it's VCC a voltage through this MOSFET and then through this smoothing capacitor and then to the CPU okay so the CPU was not getting the VCC a when I measured here it was missing okay here was one volt which is good which is okay but here was nothing at all I checked the gate of it there was no signal then there is a small IC as you can see this is NCB102 IC this is which drives this MOSFET okay so the enable signal at bin 1 was present 
the 12 volt at pin 6 was present so the only thing what, which was uh, missing is the drive signal that goes to the MOSFET so I decided to replace this as you can see I have replaced it and now it is working if we try it together right now okay let me bring the microscope view the view will change that dis uh, display over there over here will change to this computer's display okay so let me just tighten this okay okay now it's ready to be tested as you can see the heatsink is installed the RAM memory is installed everything is good as I said that display over here is the microscope display but when I turn on this computer that will change to this computer display okay so let's try and turn it on together Let me just put this back so you can see okay okay as you can see the fan now goes to a lower speed and the computer now is working yeah the fan was uh, running at high speed all the time so there were there was a, a problem with the motherboard so the problem was pretty easy is the VCCA voltage was missing that supplies voltage to the CPU and now the CPU is getting its VCCA voltage and then the CPU can work and ask for its vCore voltage okay so as you can see we managed to fix this computer by just replacing that IC so if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching and see you in another video